Hi everybody, it's Adela Batista. I'm a storyteller here at Technology Hub and I have the pleasure to have with me Brian Rashid, a uh, global speaker. He's a contributor for Forbes magazine and also has been a TEDx speaker. Yeah. What hey was guys. that like? It was cool. It was awesome. I talked about connecting the dots of, uh, of my life. I was very nervous. It was probably the most nervous I've ever been giving a talk. And uh, what is it that you're doing here with us? I am here today because we're celebrating the graduation of a three-month intensive program that I've been leading along with my uh, business partner, Martha Edith Hernandez. And we have basically been t taking entrepreneurs from Ciudad Juarez through a rigorous testing uh, system of seeing if their product is ready for market and just basically getting out, interviewing clients, potential clients, potential mm -hmm. customers, figuring out if what they think is a good idea is actually going to be something that sells in the marketplace so that they can save their time and energy and actually build things that the, that the community wants. You know, be, you'd be surprised how many people think they, they have an idea or mm -hmm. think they have a product or service and they spend a lot of money and a lot of years of their life, a lot of their energy on that only to find out that the market actually doesn't want to buy that. So uh, for me, you know, this has been an incredible experience. The, the entrepreneurs are super cutting edge, mm -hmm. and they I think they've taken a lot from the program. They, a lot of them have pivoted in different directions that have saved them a lot of time and money, and I think uh, it's been a blast to be here with you guys. So it's basically a way for them to go through the entrepreneurship process faster. It's basically accelerating whether or not what you think is going to sell is actually going to sell mm -hmm. by going out and talking to people that are your potential clients and seeing if they would buy it. And what 90% of the people find mm -hmm along that path is that actually what we thought isn't actually what the customer wants that we the customer we thought would want it doesn't actually want it and they do a lot of pivots to find different sometimes you know in half of the cases or more than half of the cases they'll just say you know what we don't have a business and that's mm -hmm. fine and in other cases they'll pivot and they'll go to different segments of the market and 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 so we really just want to encourage them to do the proper market research, which is not a, some survey that you send out to 100 people that you don't know. It's actually getting in front of people face to face. And I, I don't know, it's kind of crazy to think about this, but like, talk to them, <laughs> you know? It's crazy. And what was talk exactly your role in this program? My role was as a, as a co-instructor. So mm -hmm. walking them through every week, we would have a WebEx call. Um, and then also in addition to that, I, I'm a master uh, storyteller. I work with companies and executives and entrepreneurs all over the world to help them tell their story in the best way possible. As you know, attention is everything right yes. now. And if you don't have people's attention, then you're, you're basically not gonna survive as a company, uh, whether that be as a sole entrepreneur or as a big, you know, big brand. So I, am, I specialize in really helping people tell their story in the best, most interesting, most compelling way possible. And so today we had pitch day, and for the last couple of days we've been here in Juarez working with people to tell their story. And what I'll tell you is this, the mistake that I'm seeing a lot of people making uh, and this is really important for like everyone watching that's ever pitching anything, is you're trying to like do too many things. Mm -hmm. And this is something that I'm really excited about with the people, that the, the groups, the teams that we worked with over the last three months. These guys are super practical, and I love that, because when, when you get really practical, when you can start to think about, all right, I'm gonna solve a problem that my community has, right? So like, yeah. um, this, this one team is doing a, a, a basically like, a Craigslist, but just like hyper localized for 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 what is a lot of people are looking for apartments, looking for roommates, looking for a, a cheap or an affordable place to live that's safe, and it's really hard to find right now in Juarez, yeah. right? That's what that's what that's what I'm learning. So, and that's what the people are telling him when he interviews them. So he created an app that basically lets people find roommates. Now, is that like the most exciting idea in the whole world? Like revolutionary? Like no, but people want to romanticize what they do. Mm -hmm. And then they, then they go out of business. I would say start with something that actually is helping people, right? Build that out as a business, and you just never know where it's going to go. I mean, if you think about it, like Zuckerberg did this thing where he started Facebook because he wanted to date girls in college, right? Airbnb started this platform because they couldn't pay their rent, and there was a conference in town, and all of a sudden, like, they said, hey, you think we can pay, rent out our, our living room? Yeah. And before you know it, they have a global business that's in all these different countries. So, but but they, no one no one sets out to like be in a hundred different countries. Like they, you set out to solve a problem for a person in your community, and that I think is what's really cool about Juarez. Um, at the same time, you guys are really thinking big in terms of like how how this can eventually scale to affect the global community. But it's not. It's, 
this is the mistake, right? It's like, don't, don't think that you have to solve the whole world's problems right now. Start with one person in your community, and that's the best thing that I've seen from this group of people, and that I've seen that works over and over again with the entrepreneurs that I've worked with. So basically, be an observer, look within, and also look at your surroundings. I love that. Observe, yes, listen. completely 100%, because the thing, the thing that you said that's brilliant is be an observer, right? Be a listener. This is the thing, like, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I talk a lot, no? I mean, I talk for a living, and this is me, I'm excited all the time, and I'm no, like talking, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking a lot, like here I am, I'm talking, we just had like an all day thing yesterday. Yeah. But, but what people don't know that I'm doing a lot is listening. And, and it's the same thing that we taught these entrepreneurs in the last three months, which is every single time we have an idea, of course we think the idea is amazing. We think we're amazing, right? But just because you think you have an amazing idea doesn't mean the market will buy it. Mm -hmm. So listening, observing, how are people using this? What are people, observing everything, right? And then going from there and letting the market tell you what they want and what they'll pay for. And from there you have a business. That's wonderful. So you guys that are watching, we want to listen to you. We want to know what you're thinking about. If you have a question for, for Brian or for us here at Technology Hub, we're all for it. Yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, you know, this is cool because Technology Hub is really becoming the place to go for information about entrepreneurship here in, in Juarez. I mean, if you are an entrepreneur in Juarez, use this resource because they're about to put out a lot of content they're about to help you every step of the way you know f like the advice that i just gave you which is like start by solving one person's problem and then ask them if they'll pay for it and then ask them if it's actually their problem that in and of itself is a million dollar piece of advice literally a million dollars i just saved you i just made you you can send me a check later <laughs> send alba the check send it to alba she did all this okay <laughs> because this is the important thing it's like that is, that is one thing. And the other thing I would say in, in terms of pitching, and because I know that you are committed to bringing value to your community, and I'm committed to bringing you guys value as well, in terms of pitching, if you uh, don't know who you're talking to, and if you don't understand like the big why, in terms of why, why are you doing what you're doing, if you don't have that very clear from the beginning, you're gonna go out of business, I can guarantee you. If you do not know why you do what you do, you will go out of business, because every decision will be hard, and then the times that will come that will be hard, because entrepreneurship is hard, and it's a lot of work, every single time that, that happens, you will default to being like, oh, I don't know why I'm doing this. Get it. So number one, start with a small problem, fix it, and charge for it, and see if people will buy it. Number two, understand why you're doing what you're doing. And every time things get hard, write it down on your sink, write it down on your piece of paper, every time things get hard, go back to that piece of paper and say, this is why I'm doing it. <clears throat> this is why it's all gonna be worth it. And for me, that's a huge piece of advice uh, that will make this journey a lot easier and more fun. Yeah, definitely. Very valuable information, guys. Remember, we're here for you at Technology Hub, and we are connecting. Conectando mentes. Oh, that was Spanish. Connecting, connecting minds. minds. Ciao. Thanks, Ella. <laughs>